Welcome to the Bullhorn. So much for those sleepy summer August dog days. Yeah. It's crazy. Josh, yeah. what do you have to say about this market volatility? Well, volume is back. Yesterday was the second highest volume day on the New York Stock Exchange in record. Mm. Uh, we're looking at a 50 VIX, which is a measure of volatility people selling options premium, and you just have a, a return of these wild swings, the likes of which we really haven't seen since 2008. So what do you do? I've heard, you know, we've talked about how your firm has moved starting, I think, August 1st into cash. And yeah. How long do you consider, how long do you think you may stay in all cash, given just how nutty things have been? You know, we're, for, for longer term core accounts, we're about 50% cash. For trading accounts, we're 100% cash. And while rallies like yesterday were, were you know, they're always going to be tempting. Mm -hmm. uh, we just don't feel the need to be heroic, try to catch a bottom. We'd rather wait until we see some constructive activity going on. And constructive activity, by the way, is not down 600, up 400. That's fun for the media to cover and for the day traders, but that is not constructive for investors. Right, so let's take it a step further. What would be constructive from the sense of looking at economic data or earnings reports, things of that nature? I mean, the, the Fed, you would think that would be encouraging as they say they're going to keep interest rates low until 2013, but to spin it on its head, I mean, I'm writing about how this is actually not good news because the Fed's kind of throwing in the towel and saying the economy's going to stink for two years. Yeah, yesterday was a complete give up moment for mm -hmm. Obama, the Fed, anyone involved in this mess. I cannot believe Geithner still has a job. Uh, I cannot believe they actually put a date on when they would start raising rates as if they have some way of knowing that by then growth will have resumed. Um, if you bought because Bernanke's on hold till 2013, you obviously aren't looking at the big picture, I think. So that didn't encourage us. It didn't get us off the sidelines. Right. I mean, and how worrisome is the crisis in Europe and the fact that it may be expanding beyond the pigs? I mean, we all know that Spain, Italy, those are the two big worries now. But now France, you had French bank stocks, Society General getting hit really hard. I tweeted earlier that, uh, you know, that the headline of the day may be the French connection or French toast, I'm sure oh, you I could outdo me. I got oh, you beat oh, on that. I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm calling it the Ooh, debt baguette. The debt baguette. I, th well I think that's the... No, so look, the Europe stuff is... I don't want to say it's a sideshow, but if we just focus Europe, 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 we're going to be missing out on the fact that GDP estimates for the United States have been cut almost every week for the last 12 weeks by a different uh, investment bank. Um, Jobs are not coming back anytime soon. It's so clear to anyone that's paying attention. The trend is just awful. I wish it weren't the case, but that's the case. And now you have the situation where we're going to slash government spending. Mm -hmm. If that's 25% of the economy, which it is, and you're going to cut it, okay, that's terrific. But just don't get shocked when we have an economic contraction as a result. Do we have to fall back into another recession? Not necessarily. But... You can't argue that the odds haven't ticked up for that. The double dip fears, unfortunately, are back and they probably are warranted. Again, we're not predicting or saying that a double dip recession is inevitable. Actually, but, let, let, me, let me jump in on that note because mm -hmm. I think for, for the viewers, this is really important to understand. Not every recession is 2008. Not That's every market correction is another Lehman Brothers uh, type meltdown. You can have a regular garden variety recession. We've had about 30 of them. Uh, on record. So that's actually par for the course in a secular bear market, um, which really began in, in March of 2000. We've got these up and down waves that are cyclical bull and bear markets within the broader secular bear. Don't fall out of your chair if we have a garden variety recession. And on that sobering note, there's your bullhorn for today.